All right. So um, now we get interesting. A process known as photorespiration, photorespiration also takes place in photosynthetic cells. In this process, oxygen competes with carbon dioxide for the active site of the enzyme um, rubisphosphate carboxylase, also called what you guys will have heard as rubisco. Figure 3.1 and 3.1a, 3.1b, outline the process of photosynthesis. Now, I'm going to have a look at this. Um, and we've got photorespiration, it's in bold. Now, um, in this process, oxygen competes with carbon dioxide for the active site. And here we've got photosynthesis. Now, we know this is quite normal. We've got two CO2s here. And we form glycerate 3-phosphate, a 3-carbon molecule, glycerate 3-phosphate. And this 4 means two, two um, ribulose phosphates form four of these. And we'll see why. Ribulose bisphosphate, has, there's two of them, five carbons. This is 10 carbons there. Um, add on to these two carbons from the carbon dioxide, that makes 12. Uh, this is a 3-carbon. Uh, four of them, four times three is twelve. Okay, so what's the difference here? We've got two ribulose based phosphates, but this time we don't have carbon dioxide, we have oxygen. So we've got ten carbons here. So we can't form four glycerate three phosphates. What happens? So at this point here it splits, it forms glycerate three phosphate, two of them. Um and down here, we have uh, two phosphoglycolate molecules. It's four carbons in total. We have another oxygen molecule that comes in, nicks a carbon and wanders off. So you end up with one glycerate three phosphate molecule here. So we actually end up with three, one less, entering the Calvin cycle. So we actually have less carbon molecules. We've actually got three less carbon atoms sorry, entering the Calvin cycle here. All right, let's um, clear that. Um, let's go down and see what the question was. Oopsie daisy. Let me get back to my uh, cursor, not my pen. So let's look at the question here. It says, suggest why the process outlined in figure 3.1 is known as photorespiration. Um, well, why is it called photorespiration? Okay, let's do the obvious one. It uses oxygen. Um, and two, well, it uses the enzyme rubisco. Um, we could also say it uses rubisco and it also involves the Calvin cycle. Okie dokie. Using figure 3.1a and 3.1b, describe and explain the likely effect on photosynthesis of an increase in O2-conk. Right, one. As we looked at it, we realised the number of carbon atoms had dropped. So, if that's the case, the number of carbon atoms have dropped, the number of carbon atoms entering the carbon cycle has dropped, so you'd reduce rate of photosynthesis to start with. So you reduce the rate of phot photosynthesis. Um, if photorespiration is going on, and the reason why, if, if photorespiration is uh, going on, there's less rubisco available uh, uh, for CO2 fixation because the oxygen is out competing with CO2 for the rubisco enzyme. Um, so, and we've got three marks, let's go for another one. If there's less rubisco enzyme available for CO2 because it's binding CO2, we've got less CO2 being fixed, and we know that because we're going to count the atoms, for the Calvin cycle, for the Calvin cycle. Okay, so less CO2 fixed for the, this is the Calvin cycle. Um, the other thing 
describe and explain the likely effect on photosynthesis. You have an increase of CO2 given off. Not O2, because you increase CO2 given off. Um, and again, coming back to when we kite it up, five, there's less glycerate, and we could, you could actually say this, what was it, what did we have? Three less, three less carbon atoms, so one less glycerate, three phosphate molecule. Oh God, that's five things for a three marker. Can we think of anything else? Uh, okay. Uh, how about less, would there be? Uh, less ribulosis phosphate will be regenerated because you're not going uh, to photosynthesis, you're going through photorespiration. Right. I'm not going to write that down. Um, but there you go.